Show, don't tell. This applies to a lot of things. Look, one of the things that I think about that is a major strategic opportunity is Eucharistic processions. We just had one yesterday. You guys all heard from Tim Bush about the one that they had in New York. You know how I know that was a big deal? And this is gonna sound ridiculous, but you know how I know that was a big deal? Because Gwen Stefani shared the picture and said, beautiful and brave. Gwen Stefani. It broke the membrane between church and secular, just for a minute. It's always a big deal, why? Because it's Jesus, obviously we know that. But how is it a big deal in this context? Because it's out in the world in a very corporal way, in a very active way, bringing our faith everywhere. The other thing that's part of Show Don't Tell is story. Man, do we need to get this one right. Man, do we, we got the greatest story ever told. But when's the last time that we sat down and said, yeah, let me look at some Christian media and storytelling. We have the greatest one, and if you go back centuries, we were able to tell it in art and in music and in architecture. But somehow, when the mass media hit, we just forgot how to tell stories. We need to tell stories. Every apostolate, be a better storyteller. That's how you show, not tell.